Winter time, I run as close as I dare without touching to the foam-laced border of sea advancing, with its retreat exposing a pockmarked skin of sand, left vulnerable but rich with shells, stones, feathers, and branches. I breathe in the ocean's power and physically invite it into my body, my androgynous body representing all of humanity with my outstretched fingers. I internalize the water's force into my being and cry out at the instant of the crashing wave's orgasmic explosion. I have succeeded at this intersection of sky meeting water meeting sand in capturing and internalizing the ocean. I am the ocean. I jog slowly, stopping every few steps, bending to retrieve at times half an empty oyster home, the dearest to me of the shells, far exceeding as object of my wonder, the scallops hard covering in its cragginess, its abstractness, its asymmetry, far exceeding the larger, less textured and mottled shells, which I find far too heavy to embed in my sculpture to be. Each spotted, speckled, stippled piece that I lift up and adopt, I imagine already a part of the torso I've yet to create. I imagine it saved from a fate much worse. I identify it as chosen. And if for some reason I decide to reverse my choice and return it to the sand and move on without it, I feel a certain guilt as if I'm betraying and abandoning it this shell, stone, feather, or branch, and worry that it will be taken to a less kindly future.